Hey everybody, today we'll be doing a quick review and I'm doing a review on the waterproof housing for your digital camera and it's completely waterproof, that's what it says on the website so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out today ok so this is the one I bought from ebay, it's from Bingo as you can see it's a weird name though yeah anyway what it claims on ebay is that it's completely waterproof up to 20 meters deep in the water so you can take this on the beach, in the swimming pool, anywhere so this is great for when summer comes because summer's only around the corner so this is fantastic um, this is really really cheap I believe this was £2.79 including postage so that's really really cheap so I'm going to test it out today because I don't want to put my camera in it straight away and go straight into the pool if there's going to be any holes or leaks so I'm going to test it out today ok so I really want to test that before I try it because I do not want to waste all my money on my digital camera which I'm recording on now and waste it because I'm just going to be ruining it all so what I'm going to do is basically test it with something else inside so I'm just going to put this blusher inside and see how it comes out and it's just this normal blusher so I'm going to use this ok so this is all it's coming in it came in a bubble wrap bag so it's all protected and it's in another cellophane bag so I'm just going to open this up being very gentle when I open it because it's only thin plastic I don't want to rip it so obviously it comes with this picture and instructions and it shows you that it's going to go into water ok so on this packet it also says that the clear plastic on the actual packet will not um, change the type of photos underneath the water so you'll still get good quality if your camera is good quality so that's good my camera that I am recording on now is a 10 megapixel camera so obviously that underneath the water will be really really good so fingers crossed this works ok to open this package all you do is peel back the velcro and because it's velcro I got really worried at first because I was like that's not going to be 100% waterproof and it's not going to give you an airtight feel so I was getting a bit worried but then I realised you just open this bit here and you have like one of them food bag openings here where you just seal it along the edge so you have one of them and then you have a second one just here so there is like a triple layer locking system in this which is really really good so once you've done that and you've opened your packet just place whatever you've got inside, I'm just going to place the blusher for now place it inside the package, be really careful for sharp objects because you don't want to rip the bag because it's only thin plastic and then seal it along the edge make sure you double check that it's sealed properly before you put your camera in because if you leave like a tiny air hole water will get in so just double check keep checking the bag and making sure layer move up and do the second one at the top once you've done that you want to roll down that top bit keep rolling and then place the velcro down and now it's sealed so whatever you've got inside which is our blusher for now is protected so we're now going to place this in the sink and we're just going to see if any bubbles come up or if it gets wet or anything so we're just going to try that now Okay, so I've got my camera bag and it's all ready to go. What I've done is I've removed the back strap from the camera case, which is just the little velcro you can wrap around your arm. I've just removed that for now because I don't really need it. And I'm just going to place it as it is, like this, into the water, into the sink. So here we go. Okay, so I filled my sink and it's pretty full. And I'm just going to place this into the water. Now the water is quite warm. It's not hot or anything, but it's just warm. So I'm just going to place this in. Okay, so I've dropped it in and I'm now going to hold it underneath the water. And okay, so I can't see any bubbles so far, so that's a good thing. So I'm holding it under the water and it's been about 4 minutes and there's only been 2 air bubbles which is really really good so I don't think that's from inside the packet because if it was a continuous airflow then it will just be bubbling all the time but it's not so that's pretty good so I've held it underneath now for about 4 minutes so I'm going to take it out and see if it's dry inside still ok so I've removed it and I can't see any water inside the packet so that's good so far but we're just going to open it up now and have a look 
Okay, so remove it from the water, as you can see the packet is still wet. So I'm just going to quickly dry the outside of it. So I don't want any water droplets getting inside the bag and then we think the water's gone in. So we're just going to get it dried. Okay, so once I've just quickly dried that, I'm going to open it now. So that's the first thing. And the first thing you see is water here because, like I said, it's just felt gross. You're going to get water into that bit, which is fine as long as it's not inside, that's all that matters. Roll that bit up, then open the seal and the second one. So far, so good. And then I'm just going to put my hand in, my hand's dry, and feel for any water or anything. So I'm going to take out the blusher, which is completely dry. That's amazing. No water on it whatsoever. That's really, really good. I'm really happy about that. And I'm just going to look inside yep it's absolutely dry there's no water in it at, at all it's like completely dry which is amazing so for £2.79 you really can't go wrong okay I don't know if you can see because it's just a small bag but there's no no water in here at all but what you can see on the outside is just a few droplets on the outside bag but inside the actual bag there's no water so that's pretty good and I'm actually really, really, really impressed with this. So what I'm going to do is test the camera under the water now because I'm really impressed with the bag. So why not give it a try? Kind of like risking my camera, but I actually quite trust this product now because this has come out amazingly dry still. So and I held it for a good four minutes. So I'm going to hold my camera underneath the water and I'm going to try and record underneath the water so you can see through the water, if that makes sense. But yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm filming through the bag, and as you can see, the quality is still pretty good. I'm just going to show you in the mirror that I actually am using the bag. So, I'm using the bag still in that, so that's pretty good. So, let's go in the water. Okay, so that's the video done. I've just filmed underneath the water and I am so happy with this product. And I really can't believe that it cost £2.79, which is an amazing price for this. So as soon as I go in the swimming pool next with my friend Carly, we will be taking some photos and some video footage underneath in the pool. And don't worry, I will do a video on how this lasts in the actual pool as well. But I am so happy with the outcome of this bag. It is amazing. I'm looking for a bag for your digital camera that will actually work under the water and you can still take photos and videos that I would recommend this definitely you don't have to spend fortune on getting a really good bag you could just get a cheap one just be really careful with it because like I said it is really thin plastic so that's the only downside but it's amazing quality and like I said the pictures and, and the videos doesn't affect them at all which is a really really good and like I said before it comes with a strap so you can strap it to your arm or anywhere you want or your belt or anything like that and it also has a pull string that you can wrap around your neck as well to safe it so when you are in the ocean or in the pool you can just wrap the bag around your neck and you can take photos under the water and then it won't flow away in the water so that's really good so this product overall gets a 10 out of 10 for me I'm in love with this product and okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you guys and I'll see you all soon bye